Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Indian Gamer, and welcome to your daily live commentary. We're today playing some more Team Fortress 2, continuing our little mini marathon that we got going here, playing Team Fortress 2, playing some King of the Hill Harvest. I lost my train of thought for a second there. Go get him, Demonite. Be the distraction. Be the man. I need you to be at this moment. And if you can't tell today, we are playing as the Scooty Booty Man, using the brand new Backscatter Scatter Gun that he got in the update that is a... You know, it's a nice little weapon. It's not bad. It, it does mini crits when you hit from behind and has a smaller magazine, and it's it's less accurate. But other than that, it's not really all that special, but sometimes you get some nice little kills out of it like that. And it's kind of, to me, like... It, it, it's like, uh, you know, any other kind of gun that they add that's not really necessary to add. He burnt out right after he hit me. Like, because... The regular scatter gun is much better than this weapon, and I will say that right now. The regular scatter gun will probably always be the best scatter gun alongside the force of nature, but the regular scatter gun is just has the consistency. And honestly, the mini crits from behind aren't that big of a deal for gain for losing two rounds in your magazine. Because if you get up behind somebody with a regular scatter gun, you're probably gonna kill them because you got up behind them as a scout. You don't need the mini crits. They're not necessary. They are nice, however, when someone has no idea that you're actually there. Where'd that demo knight go? I'm gonna grab this health. He's over there. Or that demo man. Okay, whatever. Where's my ball? There's my ball. I don't need my ball right now. Why don't you go the direction I want you to go? Why do you always make me miss my cleavers? If you can't tell, I am still in a really good mood because I'm... Re Ooh, nice. I am recording this right after I just did my demo night thing. So I'm in a really good mood right now because I actually had a decent video that I got done. Because I'm home alone and it means I can be loud and I can have fun. I don't have to worry about people hearing what I'm saying. You fished me. He actually fished me. I helped. There was nothing I could do there. He had a major advantage on me. He was getting health back. He had the black box. I don't think I could have done enough damage with those four rounds to get him. Now, an interesting thing about the backscatter, it also says, like, when you're at close range, you can get those mini crits. I have yet to see that happen. I have literally been touching people in very suggestive ways while firing the backscatter, and nothing has happened. Although you bled out because I'm a horrible shot, so you actually had time to bleed out there. But the backscatter does have that mechanic of it does it, it does kind of teach you some of the scout mechanics. It actually is another weapon that I think is a good training weapon. It teaches you how to get in behind people because you have to to use this weapon effectively. You have to get behind people, and it can teach you how to do that. It can teach you how to flank and get in around because it, it it's how the weapon works, and that is a mini sentry. If I had one more round, if that had been the scatter gun, he would have been dead. Because I had time to fire one more round. If that was the scatter gun, that would have been different. But he captured the point, so we still have time to play a little bit more here, which is never a bad thing. I don't mind this match getting drug out like that. Not at all. Gosh darn it, scout. Now, I, I, Pyro, put me out! Air Blast! Okay, I got, I picked up health. Let's say, Pyro, I need an Air Blast so desperately. That's a mini sentry over there. Whoever's throwing the mini sentries, you are ruining the game for me. I just want you to know. I walked right into that one. Meet the boy. Walked right into it. Grenade Shooter Outer. That is a wonderful name for your weapon. I, I applaud you on that, good sir. All right. Let's see if we can take this point and be the champion and the hero that our team deserves and needs right from me right now. Why don't I just shoot you? I have a backscatter. I missed, but I, I had a gun. I feel like I was a spy at that point trying to butter knife somebody. We won. I'll do another one, definitely. I mean, that went really quickly. That went really quickly, so I'll go ahead and do another one. That's no big deal. No big deal at all. And this one, I'm going to be here... Wait, I was from the start of the last one. I was here from the start of the last one, so... Let's use the backscatter a bit more. Scatter some people's backs. 
and hopefully get close enough to touch them in a provocative way and shoot them point blank. That is a little too close for comfort. I do not like that. That is a bad touch. That is a very bad touch. So I'm going to get away from that touch. That's going to be another bad touch. Let's just get out of there. You are a dead pyro. I'll just leave you be. You are going to try and cap it. That is a mini sentry. I am getting away from that mini sentry. You were not a dead ringer because you were already cloaked. Where's your team? There's your team. Get through the door. Yeah, yeah, get back in your spawn. Oh, the mini sentry! The mini sentry! I hate <laughs> mini sentries so much because they're always in such weird areas and you have the new sniper rifle. You actually got a kill with it. Congratulations. That thing is not my favorite weapon that they've added so far. There's a reason that I really prefer the new Team Fortress sniper rifle over the old one, but we'll get to that in another video and we'll talk about that another day. For now, we're just going to focus on what we have here. Oh, what a throw! What a throw, ladies and gentlemen. That just made the video. That just made the video. The video, it has been made. Ah, Sticky Bomb Launcher. Best weapon 2014. Dang it, he got away. He done got away. But we do have the control point. We can get the momentum now. And I will stay back here and try to help my team actually hold this stuff. And I hit him with it. I hit him with it. I done hit him. I actually got him. But he hit me right there. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh! Clipped by the SMG. After all that, the SMG clipped me and took me down. In a 11 second respawn. 11 second respawn. Wow. Wow. Hopefully Poop McGee here will be able to hold the fort down. He'll poop all over him and we'll, we'll, we'll win this one. And the YOLO queen. Man, we, we have some, we have some pwn stars on this team right here. I tell you what. He is just going to run in here. I didn't even see the Machina trail. Did not see it at all. But I should have guessed there would have been a sniper up there waiting for a scoot to turn that corner. Looks like somebody's up there fighting him, though. Looks like somebody is up there trying to take the fight to him. There's a soldier in here. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> How did I survive? Don't ask because I don't know. How are you doing so... Oh, it was a scatter. I was like, how are you doing so much damage with that SMG? That hit me for like 30 or 40 health in one shot. No, it was a scatter gun in the back. That would do it. That would be something that would effectively kill me. Wow. Learn to shoot, Matt. If you learn to shoot, maybe you'd kill something. Although I'm having no trouble hitting those. He went in here. And then he blew himself up on me. I need to get out of here before I get sniped. Because I am at low, low, low health. Get out of there. There we go. Hey, I'm actually dominating somebody. Because uh, he killed himself on me. I I'll take that. I have no qualms against that one. Come on, Pybro. And you were a soldier. Not anymore. The Tide Turner. You saw it last video. He charged in there, killed the pyro, got his charge back, went outside, and was able to do a complete U-turn, come back in, and cut my head off. And he got somebody else right after that. That shield needs no other stats. That should need the wee booties. You should have to have the wee booties to get the turn radius on that thing. Just that charge regen is amazing for that weapon. There you go. No scooty booty men following me. What were you doing? I has no ideas. No ideas our has. Right. 
I'm glad you finished him off because I didn't have the skills to do it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Well, we do have the point, so I'm not too concerned about it. I saw that out of the corner of my eye, too. Just walked out of there, and it was right there by my side. Just walked out, and it was right there. Yep, that's how it happens. That's what goes on in the Team Fortress 2 world. Five seconds to respawn. Let's look around. Here's Poop McGee. Let's follow Poop McGee around just a little bit and see what's going on with him. There was a scout behind him. Poop McGee is going to die. I got your poops. I got your, I got your poops. I don't got you. Come save me, poops. Save me, poops. Save me, poops. I'm going to die. I'm going to, yes. Poop McGee saved me, I think. No, it was Lincoln Park Ranger. That is actually a really awesome name. The Lincoln Park Ranger. Yeah, stay away from me with that thing, please. Whoo! That was a interesting little fight. I'm really glad he didn't get me with the Jurati Bushwhacka. That would have been really bad. We gotta cap that point. We gotta, we gotta get in here and cap this. Get hit by that. Get by that. Thank you for getting hit by that. All right. Killed all the way from back there. Although he probably killed me and then charged in there. Yeah, he had the crits, so he just killed me and then charged in there to get health. No big deal. No big deal at all. All right, come on. We need to respawn. We, we, we're getting this. We can do this, team. We can hold this. We got it. They have their whole team on there. <laughs> I got Jurati'd, and I got Shotgun, but if we cap, if we, well, they haven't capped it yet. All we have to do is just get them off of it and keep them off of it, and we get this. It looks like we've got it, too. Good job, team. As long as they don't get anybody else on there, uh, I think that means we got it. I was second. I was second with, I had a lot of damage. I had 11 kills. I had a five-minute lifetime. That was really, really, really good. I am really happy with how those two rounds went, and I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here because those were two really good rounds, and I don't want to play one more and get completely stomped. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.